The Galactic Free Press Update. The wild ride of January's energies. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. January is already bringing to us a wild ride of intense energies, and for those embracing the, these new earth energies, you will feel these as a yeehaw within your being. They are coming in, coming in in waves, and if you are clear, meaning in the present moment of now, you will be feeling and experiencing these the most. If you are not clear and flowing in the oneness energies, you are going to discover increased challenging moments. The clearer you are, the funner the ride. Two thousand twelve was love's year to step forward with truth, and two thousand thirteen is the manifestation of this truth into physicality. Within the birth of the new earth, the unity consciousness, and the new paradigm, which has occurred as a natural part of the evolution taking place on this planet, these truths will become self-evident. Quoted from James Gillian. To some, there are major changes happening, and it's off the scale. It is felt within. There are hearts opening, and the world is changing at a rapid rate. Others are seeing changes in their outer world, at what seems a slower pace, often not realizing what is happening within. Like a birth, a whole new being is emerging from the inside out. And the placenta will be discarded, which is the old world no longer needed as a containment vessel. The old world order has been the containment vessel and has been very creative at containing the masses in the first three chakras, survival, sex, and power. Regardless of their clever arrogance, the old world order has missed the wisdom of evolution universal law, and the fact that the earth and all who reside upon her have a different destiny. This destiny is supported and inspired by the source itself, and that destiny is to move to the next level. It is a destiny that cannot be stopped. It is happening even below the atomic level, and assisted by the source itself and the beautiful many servants of Creator Spirit God or what many refer to as source or original cause. Humanity is awakening. The heart, the voice, the vision, the direct knowing or God connection is activating on a grand scale. Are we a body and a personality, or a spirit that has a body and a personality? If we align with spirit, would we not operate under universal law? Would we not be aware of the plan of the controllers as well as the plans of spirit? In unity consciousness, what science calls the unified field, everything is connected. There is no separation. This means no elite, no competition, no deception, only at oneness. The awareness of what is in alignment with the universal law or unity consciousness and the heart voice and direct knowing from Creator opening will bring an end to the old guard. The earth has chosen to rise in frequency and move to the next level. All that which is upon the earth must match the new frequency. The birth is real. It is upon us and the placenta, the old world order, will be discarded. Real wisdom will discard the clever attempts to stop an unstoppable process. These attempts to stop the spiritual evolution of Earth will be met with exposure and reaction, what some all call karma. There is nowhere to hide from this process, there is no defense, and resistance is futile. The world of the controllers is coming to a close. They at best should be interested in soul evolution and where their consciousness and actions are going to take them. The world of those in service to the Creator is blooming. It is time to move into the heart 
Accept and own your divine heritage. We no longer have the luxury of serving the beast or to willingly participate in the control, enslavement, or any harm to humanity and the earth. There will be no security in these roles. The plan is set. It is activated. The source itself, what some call the real God, a divine intelligence or frequency and force, is here, along with the beautiful many. It is time to align with and celebrate the birth of humanity and the earth. Release the past and move forward in courage, in service to humanity and to this earth. Stop sweating the small stuff. According to your God self, it's all small stuff. Rise beyond petty by caring. Unite and create heaven on earth. End of quote. Many are already beginning to experience this new earth energy, and many more will follow in the energetic footprints left by those who have walked into the light already, and is where the higher grid is being activated on this planet. This is inevitable, as this energy is present and fully manifested on the planet within many. This energy manifested will begin to expand and continue to expand. On January 2nd, many awoke to an intense amount of light pouring into the planet, which is all part of these New Earth energies coming in. Quoted from Bill Ballard on January 2nd, I awoke this morning to some major increases in the energy, the light incoming. Wow! This is pretty intense, even for me. Several conversations with friends this morning prompted the subject of today's video which is witnessing the transition of so many into their multidimensional states of being. As long as they hold on to what they knew and the old paradigm, as well as those persons who are not currently choosing to switch because of their unawakened state of being, things will be difficult. To release the shore and flow downstream, and going with the flow is my advice coming from my personal experience. I totally had to leave the situation I was in when I shifted to living fully in 5D and out of the old way of being I was used to. I feel for you all who are going through that now, and I'm sending love. End of quote. We have shared in many messages in December what the December 21st alignment was all about, which was an energy coming directly in from the center of this universe. We are currently receiving reports that they have scientifically detected this energy coming in and are receiving a signal directly from the center of the Milky Way galaxy, which is the center of this universe. Quoted from Mitch Batros of Earth Changes Media. Powerful magnetic outflow coming from the Milky Way ga galactic plane. Enormous outflows of charged particles from the center of our galaxy, stretching more than halfway across the sky and moving at supersonic speeds, have been detected and mapped with CSIRO's 64M Parks Radio Telescope. Corresponding to the Fermi bubbles found in 2010, the recent observations of the phenomenon were made by a team of astronomers from Australia the USA, Italy, and the Netherlands, with the findings reported in the January 2nd, 2013 issue of Nature. There is an incredible amount of energy in the outflows. The source of the energy has been somewhat of a mystery, but we know there's a lot there, about a million times as much energy as a supernova explosion, a dying star, end of quote. On December 21st, this planet did align with the galactic center, and these are unstoppable energies coming in, backed with a lot of creational energy. These energies will only increase, and we truly have just begun. As more awaken, this adds to the energy on the planet, and for those who are awake, 
also receive this energy as the grids light, light up. Quoted from Bill Ballard. Many of us are experiencing such a higher vibration light energy coming in and increasing dramatically as we go that has no outside influence as solar flares or solar streams or even CMEs, planetary alignments or other influences that it could be pinned to as we have witnessed in 2012. Of course, there could be a further reduction in Earth's magnetic field that could be causing it that we are not yet seeing scientific data from. But my feelings is that we may be finally coming to that critical mass number of awakened and enlightening humanity that we may be self-generating this. I would certainly hope this is the case. Presently, I see no other reason that could be causing this. Even with this newly discovered magnetic radiation, separate from the photon belt that we have just entered, coming from the galactic center. Whatever it is, it's powerful, and I'm loving it. This is the year of the new earth, and it's the moment to accomplish what you all came here to accomplish, and this is being love, and this means trusting the love that you are, and the love which created you. Yes, big changes are going to happen in this energy. We need planet-wide peace, and this is the sharing of, inf of information, being love and peace, uniting and participating in your missions. We are going to have waves of new awakenings very quickly. In fact, it's already happening. Quoted from Wes Anik. I can truly feel some amazing energies, and I can feel even more brimming to burst from within. And as we all unite together, to co-create our new paradigm of peace, cooperation, and intense higher dimensionality in every form it has to offer, we create exactly what we have been envisioning and working towards during an Earth experience that has tested and at times flattened us. While there is still much work to be done for the lightworkers, the gatekeepers, the galactics, celestials, and the human collective especially. I must reiterate that we have made it. The hardest of the work has been done. And while we have all been tested, as the new year, new year beckons us toward true and fluid-like change, our experiences and roles from here on out are to be more enjoyable than we can currently imagine. Wes Anik, receiving assistance and passing it on. End of quote. There are many who are complaining to the light that nothing has happened as promised. Well, a lot has happened. So, that's not true. Many messages here on the Galactic Free Press have said all along that this is an internal event which is happening. It's transforming to the outer. For this is how the energy of creation functions. What is creation? In truth, creation is self-evident. We do not control creation. We just participate within it. Creation is the understanding of all energy and how it is utilized. Creation energy is always used for the greatest good, the highest benefit for the all, for the greatest number. This is what 2013 is all about, energetically speaking. Quoted from Siam, Samion through Amara Mara. You have made it past the winter solstice of 2012, and you are still here. Wonderful. The world has not come to an end. Some will say nothing happened. Will you be one of those? If you do say nothing happened, then you have missed much. 2012 was meant to be a crossroads. It was a time of becoming or not becoming, and deciding what you wish to see anew in this new year of 2013. We certainly hope you are seeing much happening, and that you are thus extremely motivated to create the world of enlightenment that has been contemplated. 
Was the wake-up call of 2012 heard by you? Was it heard by the world around you? This year will be the true test of that. Now is the real testing of your guts and grit and true spirit as creators. This year, many will fall <clears throat> to the wayside that were looking for a quick fix or that never truly believed in humankind's potential to evolve. Are you a waysider, or have your eyes been opened further to re reveal more light in your life? Will you be the one that adds to the creation of the promised land that you all have been working towards? If so, <clears throat> then now is the year of real action. This is the year when all the hype can become real in your lives. One at a time, until the light spreads like a wildfire fire blown by a strong wind. So much light can now be revealed that wasn't able to previously in anticipation of the big end or big shift of 2012. Now is the time that the real truth in each soul will come forward. As all the pressures of the build-up are gone, and only those that really meant what they intended to be as light workers will remain. The tough and truly divinely touched will forge ahead without a blink of an eye. And what a world they will create. Watch out for the spreading undercurrent now. Your thought, you thought it was strong last year, but nothing will compare to what will happen in this year of 2013. This is the true launching year for all that has been building. Last year was simply the preparation and the weeding out period. The weeding of those that couldn't maintain a vibration of service, no matter the hurdles thrown at them. Now is the time to truly become that reality that you know to be true within. You that survive all the hype that nothing happened and recognize that everything happened will be those that are quietly, or perhaps not so quietly, creating this new dimensional existence in the times ahead. This is no small thing we speak of. Many other dimensional realms have been watching to see who and how and how many would make it through all the veils put before your eyes in the year of 2012. Who and how many of you are still with us and seeing beyond the veils now. Enough are with us that your world hasn't come to an end. And this is a big step. It may have come to an end for some, but it hasn't for you. All the truth you need for this year is within the energy signature of these words. Keep the flame lit now more than ever, and you will see and be the future elevation of humankind and your beloved planet Gaia. End of quote. Gaia Portal Update Seminal frequencies planted last year have been activated and empowered. These higher frequencies could only be activated post 12-12-12 to 12-21-12 period. And post 12-31-12. Today's 1-1-13 at 11-13 provided ideal gateway for activation, Gaia Planet Wide. Those experiencing pulsations in the body and heart chakra resonance with identical pulsations occurring Gaia Planet Wide. There is no precedence for this, and many will depart as a result. Alignment, harmonization with the higher frequency, Gaia pulsations, brings expansion and awareness of higher purpose, and the power to carry that out. Drumming aligns with the body-spirit with the new Gaia pulsations. Galactic Ground Crew, next missions, have been formulated and delivered. Each has received instructions for the next steps and has been contacted or will be shortly. Attention to body sleep dream messages is encouraged, but instructions will be delivered one way or the other. Be present and be aware. That is all. End of quote. An ex 
extension has been given to humanity to awaken. So we will see how they can embrace this gift and all of these energies. For those who are ready, you are currently being prepared to reconnect to the higher grid to begin the co-creation of the new earth, Equal Heart. This is a process, and each of you will be highly assisted. The ground crew members are receiving the next steps. Enjoy the ride. Decreed by heaven, an extension for a complete planetary awakening has been given. For those who are ready, you will be in joy in the co-creation of the new earth equal heart in unity consciousness. This will occur within the oneness energies. This is a divine plan manifesting now on planet earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission in all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team.